welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says, the harmonic mean of two numbers is 4, their arithmetic mean that is A and geometric mean given by G satisfy the relation 2A plus G square equal to 27, find the two numbers. We consider the two quantities A and B. Then we have the arithmetic mean that is AM is given by A plus B upon 2 in the same way geometric mean that is GM is given by square root of AB and the harmonic mean given by HM is given by 2AB upon A plus B. Now let us see how do we get this harmonic mean between the two quantities A and B as 2AB upon A plus B. Suppose we have the three quantities A, H and C are in HP. So this means that 1 upon A, 1 upon H, 1 upon C are in AP. Now since these three terms are in AP, this means that this would be the arithmetic mean of 1 upon A and 1 upon C. So this means that 1 upon H is equal to 1 upon A plus 1 upon C and this whole upon 2. This means that 1 upon H is equal to A plus C upon 2AC. So we now have H is equal to 2AC upon a plus C. That is, the harmonic mean between the two numbers A and C is given by 2AC upon A plus C. Similarly, harmonic mean between two numbers A and B is given by 2AB upon A plus B. This is the key idea that we use for this question. Let's now move on to the solution. In the question, we are given the harmonic mean of two numbers and that is 4 and we are given a relation that is 2a plus g square equal to 27 where this a is the arithmetic mean, g is the geometric mean and we are supposed to find the two numbers. So first of all, we suppose that the two numbers bx and y. So, the harmonic mean so given by h between the two numbers x and y would be given by 2xy upon x plus y. That is, using this and we are given that harmonic mean between the two numbers x and y is 4. So we have 4 is equal to 2xy upon x plus y. That means 4 into x plus y the whole is equal to 2xy. Now 2, 2 times is 4. So here we have 2 into x plus y the whole is equal to xy. Let this be result 1. Then next we have the arithmetic mean given by A between the two numbers x and y would be equal to x plus y upon 2. That is A is equal to 
x plus y upon 2, which means that 2a is equal to x plus y. Let this be result 2. Then, the geometric mean given by g between the two numbers x and y is given by square root of xy. So this is equal to square root of xy that is g is equal to square root of xy or you can say that g square is equal to xy. Let this be result 3. Now we have the relation which says that 2a plus g square is equal to 27. This means that as 2a is x plus y, so x plus y plus the g square is xy, so x plus y plus xy is equal to 27. This is using the results 2 and 3. Now as you can see in this result 1 we have xy as 2 into x plus y the whole. So in this in place of xy we can put 2 into x plus y the whole. That is we have x plus y plus 2 into x plus y the whole is equal to 27. And this is using the result 1. This gives us 3 into x plus y the whole is equal to 27. Which means that x plus y is equal to 27 upon 3. And 3 9 times is 27. Thus we now have x plus y equal to 9. Let this be result 4. Now Using this result 4, that is x plus y equal to 9, in result 1, which is 2 into x plus y the whole is equal to xy, we get xy is equal to 2 into 9, which is 18, that is xy is equal to 18. And from here we get y is equal to 18 upon x. Let this be result 5. Now, using this result 5, that is y is equal to 18 upon x in 4, we get x plus 18 upon x is equal to 9. Further, x square minus 9x plus 18 is equal to 0. By solving this quadratic equation, we get x square minus 6x minus 3x plus 18 is equal to 0. Further factorizing, we have x into x minus 60 whole minus 3 into x minus 60 whole is equal to 0. Or, we have x minus 6 the whole into x minus 3 is equal to 0 which means we have x equal to 6 or x equal to 3. From this result 5 we have y is equal to 18 upon x. So for x equal to 6 we get y equal to 18 upon 6 and 6 3 times is 18. So therefore we have x equal to 6 and y equal to 3 as one set of values for x and y. Next for x equal to 3 we have y is equal to 18 upon 3 and 3 6 times is 18. 
therefore x equal to 3 y equal to 6 is another set of values for x and y so this means that the required two numbers are 3 and 6. So this is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.